typhoon Moifa has continued to intensify a bit throughout the day today and is beginning to stall in a similar region where Hinamore did just a week or two ago as a Category 3 high end at that and we are forecasting a Category 4 typhoon to come barreling through the southern Japanese islands. The current intensity estimate from our cyclone analyst team is about 125 miles per hour with a pressure of 949 millibars and we're looking at a crawling speed of 3 miles per hour to the northwest. We are expecting a northward turn by the way I should mention for those watching in Taiwan. Don't worry, this is expected to turn north but impact still cannot be outruled. We could see definitely high surf um, and maybe even some gusty winds as this passes to the east. Here's the locations, uh, distances, and the alerts from the JMA. I'll leave a link to where I got these in the description below. As you can see, we have storm surge and storm warnings in place for the islands it's expected to go through. That's uh, Takitomi and Ishigaki. I apologize if I've mispronounced those. And you can see warnings and advisories for the surrounding islands. And later down the line, we could be looking at regions like Shanghai in China, we could be looking at potentially typhoon impacts there. Here's the current intensity estimate and there's not a lot of intensity estimates to compare to. A lot of them were outdated by quite a while and in some cases over a day. But the general consensus with the um, intensity guidance I was able to get is a mid to high end category 3 with the JTWC also going with that. Our forecast cone is also generally in line with the JTWC, forecasting a peak of around 140 miles per hour. Then it weakens from there on out as it passes through the southern Japanese islands and then towards Shanghai uh, as a typhoon we could see, maybe typhoon force winds in that region and further uh, north there as well we could see um, some storm force winds, um, potentially 50 knot plus uh, well inland as well. The sea surface temperatures right now they are upwelled from where Hinamore stalled about a week or two ago, but they are still favorable enough for the storm to intensify a bit as it has over the past several hours. Sea surface temperatures will increase a little bit after the southern Japanese islands, but generally, even with that, we do expect general weakening uh, as the sea surface temperatures will begin to decline, especially as it goes towards Shanghai. The H Wharf expects a Category 3 to Category 4 peak, it looks like, um, and maybe Category 2. Um, category 1 going into China. Heavy rainfall will follow as is usual with these strong tropical cyclones and the general model agreement is um, general strengthening to a peak intensity maybe around Cat 3, Cat 4 then, uh, then weakening after that uh, as was expected in the forecast. And you can see the shear is generally expected to be less than 20 knots for the next couple of days Sea surface temperatures and relative humidity generally favorable for the storm. And the tracks are fairly high confidence. Well, they do. They kind of give a false sense of high confidence. Those are only two models that are shown in that track. As of looking for right now, the storm looks very impressive. I will note there, are, there is some indications that maybe some dry air got into the northern side. We'll have to see as time goes on if that can maybe hold back the peak intensity. Let's hope so. But either way, if this stays a category 3, that is still a major system pushing through areas that just dealt with Typhoon Hinamore, and we'll have further updates as time goes on.